Okay, um, in this video we want to consider a different type of uh, integration problem. Suppose you had to send a test where you had to integrate, say, 10.4 to the x power dx. Um, how could you handle that? In the first sense, at first glance, it might even make sense to you because here we have a constant raised to a variable power and you want to integrate this expression. And you see how we can go about it. Um, what if we consider the opposite problem? That is, say we have some constant, we'll call it a, to the x power, say y equals that. Could we find this derivative? Could we find the y dx? Now, clearly, if the problem was in this form, y equals the variable x raised to a constant power to y dx, that would be easy. That would just be a times x to the a minus 1 dx dx. So that would be it, no problem, that's just kind of differentiation. But here, it's different because we've got a constant place to a variable power. So the trick is, y equals a to the x. What we want to do is take the natural log of both sides of this. So we we'll have the natural log of y. And what would that give us? Well, the natural log of a to the x. And we can rewrite this, that would equal x. That was the natural log of a. Now, if we differentiate with the derivative of both sides of this equation, we would have g dx. The natural log of y that would have to be equal to dx of the natural log of a times x. Of course, this is just a constant, and dx dx that's one. So this side of the equation. Just the natural law of the A. Now to go back to the this side, um, the derivative of the natural law of the Y, uh, is where we use our logarithmic differentiation. That's equal to 1 over what's inside the, the log sign. So that's just 1 over Y times the derivative of that, just be Y dx. And that has to be for the natural log of A or the Y dx. That equals Y times the natural log of A. But we have to remember Y is what? Y was this. So what we end up with here is. Actually, it's a pretty simple expression. Uh, if y equals a to the x, and its derivative to y dx equals y, which is this, a to the x times the natural log of a. So that looked out pretty, pretty slick for us. Now, how can we use this to solve this integral? Now, in this integral, we've got a constant. It's just 10.4 raised to the variable x power. Here, we have a constant, just a raised to the variable x power. 
So let's see, let's divide both sides of this equation by the natural log of a and multiply by dx. So that will give us 1 over the natural log of a times dy will equal the integral of a to the x dx. But integrate on both sides, of course. And the integral of dy, that's just y. And y is a to the x. So we're going to have this here would equal 1 over the natural log of a. The integral of dy is y, which is this. And so here then, if y equals a to the x, we can find this derivative real easy. Then if we have the integral of a to the x dx, hey, we can integrate that very easily too. We can even throw in a constant if we want. So we go back to our original integral. That was 10.4 to the x dx. And so that will just equal 1 over the natural log of 10.4 times 10.4 to the x plus an arbitrary constant. And there it is. So once you're aware then of when you have y being equal to a constant raised to a variable power, you can find dy dx very easily. Then from this, we can easily find an expression for the integral of a constant raised to a variable power dx. That's just this. So therefore, we go back to our original problem constant raised to a variable power, that's just 1 over the log of that constant, times this. So it's very easy to handle. Um, we'll try to do one more problem like this, and then we're going to move on and uh, consider how to uh, solve different types of integrals using trig substitutions.